sophomore right there out of Vermilion. Started his career at Division II Augustana before transferring in transition. Wins and 24 losses. Three times Summit Coach of the Year for Don Blitzoy. And trans coach in Colorado history to take the Buffaloes to the NCAA tournament three straight years, and they were hoping to be back last year. McKinley right with the blow in the Buffs. McKinley right with the floater. Amude. And he's keeping the Coyotes within striking distance here in the first half. McKinley right. <laughs> Meeting between these two programs in history. Amude's shot in the lane won't drop. It wasn't that long ago they played, December of 2000. And rebounded by Jabari Walker. Right. Stop. Pop. And, and it shows you how much turnover there is. You mentioned it correctly. He has experience yet. Moody gets double team later in the year. Right surveys. The floater again. We, he is a weapon, able to shoot the ball from outside. Right back in there. Behind the back bounce pass to Batty. Batty's turnaround no good. Just from Munich, Germany. Horn will try again. And hit tonight after they started slowly. They didn't get their second one for a long time in the first half, and here they are sitting on 10. Right to Batty. Maddie away from the printer. Set up right. Going to work against Bailey. I really Thanks. like that matchup. I like yeah. that. And he goes right behind. Kenley Wright starting to attack. Lays yeah, it in. They're going to have to. Oh, they get the slant. A bunch of shots. Has hit the front iron. Every one of them. Ah. Rebounds for Colorado. Right again. Gets his own miss. Here's Horn with the three. Getting after it on the offensive end. Turnover on Tennessee. Here come the Buffs. Barthelemy knocks down his first round pick in next year's NBA draft off the mark. Nine point game. Make it seven. Out of the corner. Here's McKinley Wright pushing one on three. This is when he's most aggressive, is in transition or semi transition basketball. And a pretty move by the Here's a little runner, teardrop, knocked down. And Colorado with a rip. Three on two. Here's right in deep. Great pass. Beautiful. NBA All-Stars. Such as Pascal Siakam. How about that? Here's a lob and a beautiful attack. And no whistle as Koontz loses the basketball. Here's McKinley Wright to Batty running the floor. Young players, you never know when your number is going to be called. Be ready mentally so you can be ready physically. Boy, that was pretty. One shot now as Horn pulls away the defensive board. Into Batty once again, and that'll count. The third on Hume. 
Hume's got to be really cautious. Right, baby, pull up. He said, I really feel we're good enough if we play to our capability to finish near the top of things. And Walton for three. Some flex action on the baseline with a pin down to a dribble handoff. How pretty was And as a coach, even in quote-unquote garbage time, you want to see proper uh, execution. That's pretty good. Counter to some plays you haven't seen yet in live action. But you want to see if certain players can hit key shots or if the actions look good versus teams that don't know the plays. He's going to fire again. Same spot, same result. This is sprints with this win. Here's right. Pyle has him on the switch. High arcing jump board. Both four Buffaloes. Right again. And in one of the, the great basketball mentors of the last 60 years. What did uh, Hubie Brown used to tell you when you first got to the NBA? It's a little early in the season. Both teams, if you look at Omaha, they have 11 points off the bench versus Colorado. 15, so they're not that far away. The start How do you... Uh, Turning your attention to a television career. He can get his shot. Player for Omaha in double figures through the first seven. Turn around, fade away. He takes the skill work seriously. And a great credit to the coaching staff here for skill development. For any player, you need that. Kinley Wright, so patient, count the basket. That's been part of the problem, is they're playing against set defenses too much, and they've struggled to make threes. And Kinley Wright in here early is trying to get past that pressure and attack the paint. They're just not a good three-point shooting team. Right Seattle. It's a home game for Washington at Alaska Airlines Arena. Back on December 9th. With defenders in there, draw defenders, and then find the open guy. Dallas Walton gets the roll way off the mark from Eric Stevenson. You know who he reminds me of a little bit? As running the floor and behind Marcus Sohonis, the sophomore from Portland. Here's Bay. Had a good look at a three last weekend. Well, we didn't ask Tad that question this morning because we didn't anticipate this being a blowout, but he probably would have liked or would. Defensive efficiency, 40th in offensive efficiency. The only other team in the top 40 is Oregon. Here's Walton. Stretch it out and knock. Taking a rest for GCU. Now here's McKinley Wright. Right on cue. And elopes. Nice job that time in the half court. McKinley Wright gets free and now steps in, lines up the jumper. Pretty happy for, for Dallas. He's, he's an outstanding person. He's a tremendous student and a, a great basketball player. Battling with the 6'7", Jariah Horn. Blackshur, there's Park. Catch up as Miller Moore scores. Well, we know Miller Moore, transfer from Oregon State, likes to put it on the deck and go to the ring fouls. Walton only played six minutes in the first half for Colorado. Here's Batty attacking the rack. Oh, they're now one of eight tonight. Coming off a game where they were two of 14. So there's Jariah goes out of Jariah Horn. Right. Quick acceleration and power. Back to a three-point game. Right pushing it up ahead. Here's Schwartz. Rhythm transition. Now, this, is, this is a team that could not make a three for a couple of games. Now all of a sudden they're starting to get him down. What a Well, don't look now, but GCU right back in the game. And Blackshire is Matt Batty's 14. Midgard's 14 is McKinley Wright. Maybe they're open just going in. Made four threes here in the second half. But Horns hit from deep. And he does. Again. Now here's that high screen and roll. And again, if you let him, if you let Wright come off that time, I mean, he's going to get that one in. But a nice job by Walton to get the ball back. Right. Gets two points out of it. So the possession, if you can run the whole clock. Five on the shot. Right. 
Bangs in the floor. At Colorado, so they're going to run the clock all the way. No fouls. It's a nice win uh, for, for the Buffaloes. And I thought to be fun. Oh, 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 oh. Two out of nine. And everything else for the Kinjo has been terrific. That's why this matchup tonight shines. McKinley right there. He's going to decide he can come back and play one more year. Yeah, and how many times do you see a six-foot guy post up yeah. another player and get his own off? And look at that. Need to disrupt the shot. And he's coming back at him. But Wright tries to go back. And look at Wright hustle for his own in a lot of areas. But not shooting it well. That's big to make that first one. Dale and Terry Cole coming right in and knocking it down. Nothing like it. I think there's Tad with a little repeat there. Ares, the game was stopped because Arizona's bench was coming out on the court. So they gave him a little bench protocol. As Maddox Ooh. argued could be in the top one or two. Well, I think we will start to see some things change as we always do. Evan Batty, look at that. He made sure and he gets the shooter. You got to cut him off on the left side. So now Colorado has to dig. Biggest lead of the game. Well, there's it's Arizona stretched this lead in the double digits. Colorado has not made any push. McKinley right in there. Bring back. When I was a young kid, the NBA Sunday afternoons on national TV, the halftime show was worse. Oh, yeah. Come in and use this conference of champions as the ultimate springboard in the infield. They sing the shot. Well, Evan Batty's defense has been superb. He's moving so well. There's a floater by on the three. Jabari Walker, whose dad Samaki played in the NBA for 10 years. He got the rebound for Colorado. Right is called Arizona State picks second. How about Washington State off to an unbeaten 8 0 start as they work it around? Kyle Arthur, who's on this Buffalo team. Tristan, just a freshman, uh, deep reserve in the front line and get into the post up game, which draws in defenders, which gets guys wide open on the three point line. That's a good foot, excuse me. Go to work here, Here's Evan. Evan Mobley on the baseline. Here's White on the drive. Missed it badly. And Batty rips it away from him. Here's Wright out in transition. And McKinley Wright right goes. Oh, God bless Lori Walton. Oh, with, She's with still all these here. Games, I mean, with all these games. Thought. Shot clock well, see, at McKinley seven for McKinley to a Wright. Dead stop like that. He's got to start all over just wasting the whole possession. For that to happen for Juzang to really break out, but they need him to break out now without Chris Smith. It is going to be tough sledding here tonight to get points going. McKinley rocks into a triple. He checks a lot of boxes, and then offensively, that's all you need. Rim run, throw it up on, on the roll from screen roll game, and get on the offensive glass. Daniels lines up. Boarded by Parquet, here's McKinley Wright. Batty and Riley really going at it in the paint. McKinley gets all the way home. Juzang switches on to McKinley Wright. Brings the whistle, brings the... Wright goes to get it. Getting laid down. Hawk is on the switch defensively. Contesting that driving. Mm. Today, Hardy right to the rim for two on the left side. And a second chance opportunity there for Oregon as the Buffs in transition. Right to Batty. Great for Marie. And maybe got tipped. Good help there by Batty. Right. Delay. Oh, up and under. Good cross-court pass. First half, here's Wright with a steal. He can rack all the way. Takes the contact. Here come the buffs. They leave McKinley right. Williams thought about a three. Back to Duarte. Eight minutes to go here in the second half. Duarte no good. Two on one for Colorado. McKinley right. Horn down the lane. Oregon has not stopped pressing. Right, flat on the shot clock. Right, guarded by Omar Rui. Has to flow up a wild one. He's down by six. Five on the shot clock. Right, looking to close this one out. Scoops the lead. He's not going to wow you with anything, but he understands how to play. And he's going to have an effect on the game because of that. Can leave the LA. Yeah. Oregon at home. I mean, it hasn't been easy here to start, but they kind of weathered the storm. Free with big games coming up for both of them as the California schools come. Colorado will get 
hell. They can't get it to drop. Back come the buffs. Good look again, though. No. Wide open. That's all you ask for is good shot. And one. Yeah, they're just not going in. There's a point blank left that should go in. Kinley Wright, beautiful drop off. And who's there? Defensive end. Some disciplined basketball. He talked earlier about creating a belief in their pro. We got to get McKinley Wright going. Kinley Wright finds Walker for three. He had player in the Ivies. Grad transfer. Jariah Horn, also a grad transfer, missed on that long range shot. Here's Horn, same spot. Get a second. Al. You want to play slow, but you got to get some shots and you got to make some threes. Here's Walker. Another. This at times. Try to slow you down. McKinley Wright with his first. An easy game. It's going to be a tough out. And McKinley Wright again. McKinley Wright, 15 on the shot clock against Brown. And there's another great five. Little piece because he's a senior. He's got experience. And he, is, and he has a high basketball IQ. That's 11 assists. And that he can score in more ways than just shooting for beyond the three. Freshman for Colorado. Wearing zero is in the ball game. He was a high recruit. Rob, let me ask you, how many better six-foot rebounding guards are there in the country? There he is off a of steal. Here's a head of Walker. It goes down. Let's see if he draws contact. He does and finishes. With That's, that does not happen very often. McKinley, mid-range jumper. That what a move by them. McKinley writes like once in a coaching career type of player. Here's Parquet for three. I want to see Zaire just put it up. It's, it's spectacular to watch. Let him go, but they'll bring Batty. And an open man. It's Tristan De Silva. They're without their center, Dallas Walton. It's been too strong. There's De Silva with his ninth rebound. And bounds and six points. He's had two straight double doubles. Right, a pull up from the free throw line. None other than Prince. There you go. I, I, you know what? I did. And getting a shot for himself or a teammate. For Iron McKinley Wright. Short. And the rebound back in the game with his two fouls, Jabari Walker. Riley Sword basically couldn't walk and shoot. Guns. Special. They were special. Jalen Noel. Noah Dickerson, David Crisp, and a three. He was afraid of this game because, look, you're, you're taking on an 0-17. He knows Washington's too good. Up, and Jariah Horn the rebound, and here comes Colorado in transition. The drop-off, five points, four assists tonight. And a Colorado team shooting 54% from the floor is but Colorado is just one for 15 from three tonight. Front end of the one and one. You didn't jinx him, no rocks. <laughs> you didn't jinx him. <laughs> McKinley Wright leads in. Kinley Wright, who got banged up with a leg injury, returned in the second half in Pullman. Away. They're coming out relaxed. They're competing. Colorado is tough at home. Very tough. Defense by the white jerseys. Look at the active hands attacking the gaps. Good drop. Lungs are burning. <laughs> they asked if you want to try for the team. You said, no, I'm good. I don't want to do it. Else. Parquet needs help. Finds it in McKinley Wright. Shot clock at 10 is... And Larson had that uh, shot blocked. Open man is Eli Parquet. 
Deshaun Schwartz back to McKinley Wright. Wide open three. Good job. Terminating possessions. You know, coaches will always say, you play good defense. They're tentative offensively right now. Wright fires a three times. What a performance by Plummer. Wright drives, takes the easy two. On the shot clock, Matherin with the basketball. Colorado swarming Matherin, trying to come away with it, and they did. A 15 to nothing run the last 5 15. Make it 78. They're really struggling so far. Wright looking to go one on one. Scoop it. Then Daddy on the defensive end as well, up to McKinley Wright. Up and under. Wright attacking high float. Up by 13 here in the first half. Jacob Toby alongside Katie Wingy is the rebound. Like regardless of if a player is coming or not, he needs to shoot the basketball the same way. Look at the pick. Gets it back. Six on the shot clock. Parquet ties up the... McKinley Wright. Floater. Won the last two times they played in this nice. building. Yeah. Nice. Dallas Walton. Across the Jays. Oh, that's good. Yeah, Latiche tried to go over the top, but McKinley right. And here they go in transition again. Nice feed inside. Does he speak as many languages as Oscar does? Man, I tell you. And look, it's McKinley right goes. Like stealing, styling out there like he did against Washington in Las Vegas in that non conference game. McKinley right at. And Oregon State can't even get a shot off. McKinley right too quick. And he's got Horn left. There it is. Nice. Perfect delivery. Uh, that's McCond. Boulder, the shining star on the hill. The beacon of hope on the horizon. Good block. That was better to get the skill with that athletic prowess. McKinley right. Boy, fuck. Good defense. Trap. That's a good trap. Along the baseline. Just being in the shot clock. That was a good shot by Jaden. He took his time. That's a makeable shot. Open is Tristan De Silva for three. Which is, but he is studying stem cell research. <laughs> Roxy, I want you to... It's a rebound. Evan Batty is denied. Then Batty saves it. Batty slips in by himself. Oh, that's there from goal. Well, more. <laughs> we'll get back to the game. I'm sorry, Rock. It's actually a... Kinley Wright, the floater. Oh, style and stuff. Come on. <laughs> you always said you're here. <laughs> and there's Evan Batty on the defensive end. Leads to a fast break. McKinley Wright lays it. Rules in Pac-12 play this weekend. Kinley Wright again looking for a teammate. Perspective. That doesn't cost you a conference championship. Absolutely. Great call. I, I... Colorado number two in the Pac-12 in scoring defense. They give up. Just over 63 points per game. McKinley Wright on the fast break to hold the game for Cal. Is steal Jariah Horn. Here is McKinley Wright racing up the floor. Good matchup because Parquet is 6'3", but he's got an arm span of someone 6'9". So that'll be a good match for Cal. You don't want empty possessions. You want to continue to attack and reward that good defense you've been playing. Well, they wanted to keep him out the middle. On the drive, there is McKinley Wright, and one as he went tumbling in the... ...stationary target. He's always moving. Colorado scoreless for almost four minutes. McKinley Wright first half. Well, right now, it's going to be important. Right, you just said turnover. Can't get that out quick enough. And McKinley oh, Wright finished. Blow and double figures for him. Chris Duarte has 11 to lead the Ducks as McKinley Wright. Maddox Daniels back in the game. He can knock down three-pointers. He shoots 40%. That's a good shot. Well, neither team line. has shot many tonight. <laughs> as McKinley... <laughs> Deshaun Schwartz. Shot. Three! Back to McKinley Wright. McKinley... Man-to-man -man defense. Right backing down, and as a shooter, you're worried about stepping on somebody's foot. Nobody's really trying to kick their feet out. It's not a... It's in the Pac-12. USC, a win tonight, will give them 20 or more wins in five of the...
Tucker back on the floor. McKinley Wright gets it in USC the last five times they've met. Taj Eady on the drive. Hanging around, hanging around, and the only one that's in foul trouble is Isaiah Mobley. And they made their last four shots. Quick hands of McKinley Wright, who drives. McKinley Wright. Good pass, playing for one another, but you got to get to McKinley Wright. Right. Right. The thing to play big, and they play big as well with blocking shots and points in the paint. Hurt behind the play. Yeah, blown tire right there. Looks like his ankle too. I think Cade probably has the slight edge right now, but he is really neck and neck. Well, when you talk about ball handlers, how's my little friend uh, McKinley Wright, who's been out to make an NBA team? I really do. Just the more that I watch him, there he is just sitting down, guarding. I mean, defensively. He heard you talking about him. He heard you talking about him. <laughs> or Baylor, or you get the field. Well, I'm going to celebrate the Pac-12 right now, so I'm going to let you do your homework. There's Evan Batty chasing it down. Ahead for Eli Parquet. Here in L.A., Jaquez gets his own rebound. No fouls. He came over on right. McKinley Wright for three. Now, he'll do this sometimes. McKinley Wright will like to post up. He posts up in first place this point in the season with a very young team. Made a lot of noise last year, and everybody was just freshmen then. Well, nobody's forcing anything. Both teams doing a nice job. Ball movement, running through their entire sets. There you see the best form of evaluation that we're privy to this year. You know, we haven't had a full schedule in most cases so why not use the most common just tonight so they've been knocked from the ranks of the undefeated and would slot behind Michigan the official saw Schwartz off the screen shot clock down to three right has to shoot it being in first place an outstanding job right with three on the shot clock has to play from three Parquet. Clark has eight. That is a new season high for the freshman. Guys aren't contested shots. Beautiful crossover right there. Doing it all and right as 26. AKA Manny picked as a postseason team, picked to play well in the Pac-12 tournament, but injuries, COVID. Lots of different things. Two points. Relatively slow first half. Right on offense to shut somebody down. I played with lots of guys that were happy to do that. Right has shut. If you miss it, you're coming out. I spent most of my career in the yellow zone. Hit Arizona. Hit the rim. Batty's on the floor, saves it, and here come the Buffalo. And right. Trying to close in on the number three seed in the Pac-12 tournament. The win with 2007, but um, he's hurt. So he's trying to get better. Things. Now right just exploding against this Buffs team that can score in bunches. On the Done a great job of getting it around. Lots of guys getting touches and shots. Who Antisovich was open. Now they feed it to him. Schwartz with a good play. Knocks it away. McKinley right on the floor. Saves it. Snow in the mountains here surrounding Las Vegas. The Meadows. And then you've got... Oh, beautiful. Dallas Walton slam. And that is a tremendous tribute to the rest of those guys. Because... I mean, everybody... Would be enough, though, for Cal. Here's Wright. Leaning in, and he finally gets all the Buffaloes are playing great defense. They're guarding as if there's a real purpose and there's a sense of accomplishment here. Great. He's under 50% on the year. As the point guard. Walker. Beautiful pass. Or excuse me, right, right with a great pass. I'm trying to watch the game, please. Here's McKinley oh, Wright. Beautiful, beautiful spin. And their game that they could just uh, cruise on somebody's uh, individual strengths. But... Uh, 
they're going to play up to the level. Because, oh, my gosh. Wire-to-wire -wire victory for Oregon State. McKinley Wright trying to get it going. Staying in the game. Mobley's three. Not there. Rebounded by McKinley Wright. Because Jabari Walker, who's pacing behind the bench over there. He's saying, look, I'm tired of sitting down over here. Get right. me in the game. Wright leans in. Harrison for Evan Mobley. I'm sure a lot of people as, a, as one of the greatest centers and one of the greatest players ever to play. As McKinley Wright hits it. Mike Schmitz. Take it up with I Mike. Love, I love Mike Schmitz. Here's Wright. Goes to the left. It's the first that Tad Boyle has had in, in 11 years. <laughs> McKinley Wright. Not ever since 1985. The last 35 years. 1,700 points, 600 rebounds, 600 assists. He's one of the greatest players in the history of the Pac-12. Basketball history. Evan has a chance to do that. Ralph was doing it. Here's McKinley Wright. Another one. Well, they're on offense right now. Here's well, McKinley I Wright. That, but Mobley. Okay, Cunningham's pretty good, but it's definitely between those two. McKinley Wright drives in. Power forward in the Big East. Okay, I'm going to say Patrick Ewing would have crushed him. In and out for Thompson. First team all Pac-12 performer. I love the way that this Colorado team clears it out. Really? I mean, you you know, like I ask you a question, you usually have the answer when it comes to your stats. So. Sponsoring and funding social justice initiatives for every made three. Two assists, the three-time first team all Pac-12 point guard. Nice Beautiful pass. pass. And Batty. All-time leader in assists at Colorado. Great change Blows of by pace. Thompson score. You're encouraging speculation. There's McKinley. Tried to get the rebound, and now oh. McKinley Wright <laughs> able to keep from falling out of bounds. Wright. Don't foul them now, please. You, oh, nice what pass a to Batty. Turn their back to the, to the basket. Here's McKinley Wright. Eight seconds to now, go. Don't foul. Wright for three. Got it! Oh. And this is what Colorado does. They move the ball, they run this motion, they reverse it side to side, which makes it hard for a defense to help us well when they beat UNLV. They ran a little flex cut there. Great pass. So the Hoyas go one and done. Right for three. Ten in a row. Son Ryan is committed to play for Patrick Ewing next season at Georgetown. Walker, another three. Yes! McKinley right back on the floor for Colorado. And a great feed to Parquet. And, you know, Mick has been banging the drum for the Pac-12 all year. He feels they got disrespected by playing in the first. Alizon Walton is picket misses wildly and Wright wants to push. Right, right at Harris. Right. right. No luck. And the finish. Walker victory of the year. The school record for wins in the season is 24. Parquet straight away three. Yes. Moving up that list significantly. There he goes again. Attacking and scoring. With 10 on the shot clock, we approach six minutes to go. Right blows right by Harris. Sloppy right now for Florida State turnover loss. The 12 times that they've had 20 or more wins on the pad, eight times. Barnes drops the handle. Florida State gives it right back. Schwartz, final couple seconds. Long step. Seven footer on him again. Been playing it that way at times. Three pointer go. You lower the shoulder, the equivalent of extending a forearm shiver. Nice job by Wright. They fouls. Kick out to Wright. He penetrates the floater. Got pace where he can make that good choice or decision. Right on a floater. 